Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. Maybe. Happy yeah. New Year, guys. Uh, welcome to 2019. <laughs> You're living in the future. Who's your Valentine? Who's your Valentine? <laughs> Satan. All of Mine's you guys. Justin. Oh, Pat. Oh, bitch. Josh is mine. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Devastation. No. I rolled a kill the DM. You can't. With my broken heart. You can't hold me. All right. He's resistant. I'm Aww. resistant to your sadness. <laughs> Shucks. Okay, so what's up, guys? Hello. Woo. We are uh, we're back. Uh, last session, uh, Josh was a sneaky bitch because that's <laughs> I just do. that's kind of what he does. That's what he does best. Perhaps that he was. <laughs> well, Josh was because he's a sneaky bitch. Um, he stole the helmet and went to his went to the sigil. Right? You kept seeing sigil sign. What I read my book. He read his book and uh, found the name of a dude that he tried to look up in between games. And then Justin yelled at him, and that didn't happen. I really just wanted to know how it was spelled. <laughs> I wasn't going to research. I sure. That. It's spelled on the page. Yeah, but you told me G. I didn't say G. You definitely didn't you say did G. did not say G. Well, I guess, whatever. Uh, and then okay. we uh, got into a <laughs> bit of a tussle with some werewolves. And... Um, I interrogated one and found out some information that I needed. And yeah, that's really it. Shart went crazy, kind of, but not all the way crazy. He's still crazy uh, now. He's still crazy. He's just hyped up. He's hyped. He's like LeBron after a pretty sweet jam. Woo! Just like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you. DM whenever you're ready. There so it is. we'll pick up right where, right where we left off, where Rufio just... You just slit the uh, the werewolf's throat. Everyone's kind of just living in the aftermath of this werewolf battle. Uh, as I've said, stated before, Shart, you are still fucking amped up and yoked and ready to just fight whatever the fuck else is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been 60 feet away from you, so you don't have the urge to kill them. Yeah. But you have the urge to sh keep fucking fighting. So, as we all reconvene... I uh, I need I need to rest. I'm pretty wiped out. <laughs> I'm fucking amped. Uh, okay, you, you can, can keep watch. Take first watch then. Fucking something better come my way. Um, okay. As <laughs> as you sit and everyone, I guess, takes mental note of that. <laughs> you just you're looking into this this axe and you're admiring its beauty. You see the different rubies that are encrusted into it, into the hilt. And you just hear that voice in the back of your head going, We did wonderful. You fed me well. I believe this is the joining of a good partnership. As long as we don't hurt my friends, I agree. Don't let them stand in our way and they won't get hurt. That's your choice. They don't get hurt. They're good people. Everyone, not everyone's a good person. You know that. I do. And it just kind of sighs, and you're just looking at it, and just you spend the next hour and a half, like, you're ready to fucking go. You're, like, standing up and, like, swinging it just to get the feel of it. and It's like flexing. Flexing. Yeah. yeah. And the last half hour, you're just sharpening this fucking axe. As you finish your law, your your watch, and who you get next? Um, I'll get uh, I'll get Absidy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything happen? Nothing, man. Um, nothing at all. Neat. All right. Sleep well. Calm down a bit. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. And you go take your rest. Uh. Absidy, you doing anything on your watch? I'm gonna give you the option. Um, I'm really just, I'm thinking about the that page in the book that I read mm -hmm. and just mulling that over. Okay. And as you do, you just you keep coming across that sigil, and every time you look at it, you just. I start um, just kind of tracing it in the dirt. Okay. Uh, and not a real big. Uh, Anything really happens on the watch. Uh, who you get next? Uh, I'll get dirt. Okay. You wake up dirt and... Um, 
dirt visibly shaken by the werewolf fight. He just kind of sits and he's like, fucking, all right. Uh, and it seems like no time has passed, Rufio, before dirt is waking you up. And he's like, all right, it's your turn, sir. I'm going to try to pass out. Did you learn anything? Uh, Did you get what you needed? Yeah. I got what I needed. All right, good. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to make things right. And he kind of just puts his hand on your shoulder before going over to his bedroll. Hey, Fear. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. You know that, right? I think so. Yeah, I do. I know. Thank you. Of course. Okay. And he goes to hit the hay. And you doing anything on your watch? I'm going to pray. Um, and I'm going to kind of, um, not like go super far, mm -hmm. but leave camp a little bit towards the West and see if I hear anything like a scout of any kind or you don't quite hear anything. You just hear the regular sounds. But as you look into the distance, you can kind of see this very dull peak of rock past the forest. Um, do I have a map? Anywhere in camp? Is Casimir there... has a map. Um, mm, I'm going to try and get Casimir's map. Okay. Go ahead and roll stealth for me. Are you wearing your armor? No, not okay. Fair. So you don't have to roll at disadvantage. No, still not good. Uh, do, 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 do. That is a five. So as you go over and you creep over to his bag, <laughs> his hand shoots out and grabs your wrist and he goes, what are you doing? I need your map. Why? I need to make a note. Why don't we look at the map together? Can I still make a note? Not on the map. Please? Don't you have a diary you can write this in, Stan Frank? It, yeah, but it, just placement is very important. We'll see. Uh. Are you flipping? <laughs> no. Oh, neat. Casimir just pulls out this map. It's tattered, and I need to really get a new map. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Ooh, a castle. <gasps> so, he's looking at it, and he goes, "Where about here? Valakai is." So Justin is pointing at parts of the map. Town of Valakai is and mumbling quietly to himself. So here's Valakai, here's Argenbost Holtz. We're about here. Okay. And where would the the den would be? Somewhere in this vicinity. West is that west. Or west is somewhere in that vicinity, mm -hmm. towards the Zvalich Woods. Is it by Krizik? Ah, got it. So Z is. It looks like it's past... There's a mountain range past Lake Baratok. That's good. I have to go to Lake Baratok anyway. Yeah? Yeah. What's that, Lake Baratok? Uh, a guy. Keep your secrets. I appreciate it. Thanks, Casimir. Folds it up. Well, if you give me some time on Mount Valakai, if you give me a little gold, maybe I'll make your own. I can, can hold on to one. Do that. Were we awake for that? No, or is you're this still. You guys okay. are sleeping. I'm a sleepy little guy. I'm a sleepy little man. man. I'm huge. <laughs> I'm a big old uh, Anything man. else you're doing on your watch? <clears throat> uh, other than like praying and stuff? Uh, no. Okay. Because Casimir's already up. He's like, I'll just just go to bed. Um. Okay. So all of you gain the benefits of a long rest. Uh, shark. You, during your rest, you find yourself back in your forest. Um, only this time it's a little where, as you saw before, it was on fire. And previous times you've seen it in your mind's eye of what your best idea of what it was. Uh, mm -hmm. This, it just seems darker. And the smell of decay is everywhere. And you're just kind of sitting there and you're looking around. And Paul is nowhere to be found. And you sit there and you wait. And you wait. And you call out to Paul and no one's answering. 
And, uh, yeah, that's how you finish your long rest. Fuck. Okay, so first thing in the morning, we doing anything? Or are we just heading straight to Valakai? I think we just go. Okay, so we'll speed it up. So the next week or so, you do your travel, you do your praying, your talking, your whatnot, and you slowly come up to the smoldering remains of Valakai. You can see it in the distance, and Casimir looks over to the path where the rest of his uh, clan is. Do you want to come go get her, or do you want us to stay with her? Your girlfriend? Well, we'll at least go visit. I mean... Uh, she might be able to visit her uh, her brother. I mean, we're in Valakai. We're not in Barovia yet. I kn- I'm saying if she comes with us. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can meet you guys there. There's something in town I want to get done. Okay. So, three of you are coming, or...? Yeah. Okay. So, it'll be... For material, we'll say it's about five gold for the map. That's fine. Then I'll give him five gold. Okay. When you return, I'll have a very nice detailed map for you. I appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> and he, without a word, you guys kind of... It's business, baby. Go off. It's business. Not personal. Nope. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll start with you guys. As you get back over to the, uh, the small mounds with all the other dusk elves, uh, roll uh, perceptions for me. 13? Mm-hmm. 17. Okay. As you're there, you see Irina out with some of the Dusk Elves, and she's gardening, she's gathering, she's making general conversation in Absidy. It's at this point you notice that none of the Dusk Elves are female. They're all male. Mm-hmm. Um, take that for what it is. And she kind of turns around, and you see her face light up as she hasn't seen you in a very long time, and she runs to you and crouches embraces you and embraces you shard and <laughs> ruffles dirt's hair how did it go you finish what you needed to do uh, if only uh, we what? have a bit of a detour you've been away for a, what feels like a month it feels like forever we we found a way to to give us an army against Drod. an army the army of the silver dragon, right? Yeah. Yeah, the army of the silver dragons. I'm sorry, I haven't heard of it. But that is good. That is good, right? I, I hope so. It's um, just taking us out of our way. I'm sure. So where are we? Where are you going now? Shart. Looks like we have to head back over by Barovia. Where Where is Marcus? Yeah. And I am to stay here, or I can go? Do you, do do you, you want to come? I'd like to see my brother. If you feel safe. I have I have all of you, do I not? Yeah. But I couldn't do anything last time. You have to let that go. We, we are stronger together. You're right. You know that. She caresses your cheek and Casimir goes this is very lovely but I'm gonna be in my house if you have any questions concerns please feel free to talk to them and they'll talk to me I'll see you when you get back and with that he slowly closes his door what has gotten into him he's a little bit mad why is he mad because we didn't make it to the amber temple which was the original plan that's Things. that detour. Yeah, that that's the about. detour. Mm-hmm. So, so he is a little cross. Yeah, I talked him down a little bit, so he understands that we'll get to the Amber Temple after we do this thing. But he's still a little bit pissed off about you it. You talked him down, you. Sometimes I'm charming. Okay, I get it. I know you are. I know you can be. It's just it's surprising. Uh, uh, me and him have a surprising amount in common. You were both raised by wolves? No. <laughs> we're both looking for someone we care about. Family. That is fair. So, where is uh, where is Rufio at? 
He went into town for something. I've... He wouldn't say what, but... That sounds typically like him. Yeah. Yep. Not much has changed. <laughs> Nothing has changed in a month. Good to know. Oh, no, something's changed. He's got, like, fire hands now. He's crazy. Who's got fire hands? Dirt! What? I, I've always had... What? I've she never had... saw you fight with those. With what? The fire hands? Yeah. Oh, no, you haven't. I have fire hands now, and that's oh, yeah. cool, and, um... You know, I'm very... I'm just... I'm super powerful now. Yeah, tell her your nickname. It's Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes... Iceman? It's because he's so cool. You do fire and you're Iceman? I'm sure it looks wonderful for her. And he goes, Thank you. I've been working very hard at it. And I'll have you know that I am impressing... Master Rufio, very much with my prowess and my <laughs> athletic attributes. He won't say it out loud, but kind of sees me as a uh, a brother figure. And she goes, <laughs> I'm sure he does. And kind of pats, no, I'm serious. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> um, also, I have been touched by a man. <laughs> Dirt, you gotta work on your phrasing. <laughs> what? I didn't, and she's just like, oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean, Dirt? I was touched by an angel. I mean, God. I was touched by a god. That's, that's impressive. What? But he, um, Rufio tried to hit him. And she goes, yeah, not much has changed. Yeah. In two months. In a month. <laughs> so, um, there have been some rebuilding efforts in the Valakai. I've been there Briefly, lots of tents. Lots of tents. Because, you know, everything burned down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that's going well. It's it's going, definitely. <coughs> um, I haven't seen the Burger Master's place yet. We should probably scoop around a little, little bit. I haven't... I've, I don't have my best snooper with me, but now I do. I'll never say no to some sneaking. And uh, with that, we'll pan to Rufio. You are uh, coming up to the fucking hallowed remains of Valakai, and you see the gates outside with the fucking burnt wolf heads. Everything is still smoking a month later, and you just see piles of ash everywhere, and then the occasional like pop up tent. What are we doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and go to Pietros. Okay. Uh, it takes you a little bit. Most people either avoid your gaze or. You occasionally get the a few people who will put copper in your hands. Is like make him suffer for what he did for this whole paladin the four. You avenge us. You avenge Vilakai. I will. And you get roughly about like ten copper pieces from just different people coming on to you and telling you that you you need to take care of this. It, and it'll be taken care of. And eventually, you get to Pietro's, and. You sift through the remains. It takes you a good, like, 30, 40 minutes to find what you're looking for. But eventually you find the handle and about this long of the blade of the claymore. This thick. So it looks more like a really chunky dagger. But you were able to get the handle and part of Mongo's claymore. And you see on the very sides of it, silver inlay. Uh, do I have, like, a sheath that it'll fit? In in my because I'm I'm now greatsword longsword dagger. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff on yeah, you. You're a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Um, you could probably make a makeshift one, but you would have to go to a leather. I'll keep it near it. my uh my scythe. Okay. I have I hook it on my belt, so I'll keep them. Okay. Pretty close to each other. And during this forty minutes or so, it's at this time that the rest of the party you start slowly going back into Valakai. Um, and you start going to where the Burger Masters is, and it is on the way to Pietro, so you guys kind of intersect and bisect at the, uh, at the head there. Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, I, uh, feel much more at ease now. Do I see the... Go ahead and roll, uh, investigation. I will, too. See if you can find anything on it. I roll... 17. Uh, 12. Uh, you both see the uh, the handle of his previous sword attached to his belt. I don't say anything, but I make eye contact. Is like a, I got you. Fair. 
That's it. Just okay. I'm looking a nod. Copycat. Uh, so Irina comes to you and she wraps her arms around you and she goes, it is good to see you safe. Uh, you as well. It's been a while. And fucking how. Uh, how, how did they treat you at they, Casimir's? They treated them very well. Uh, very respectful, which I appreciated. No one got the mouthy or else you know I'd pop them. Yeah, um, you would. Yeah, God, I'd fucking deck them. Um, but they were fairly nice. It just... It dawned on me there was no other Dusk Elf, like women Dusk Elf. It's all male Dusk Elf. Weird. Yeah, I noticed that too. I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't want to pry, so I didn't ask why. I've never seen a Dusk Elf before. I've seen, of course, like High Elf Drow, but they their darker skin. He's uh, different. I don't know if they're just to this region or... I only heard things about Dusk Elves. I've never seen the one. Well, that's interesting that Casimir... Casimir said that they weren't from here. He said he came from somewhere and he's adopted the name Casimir Valakov. He's not from... Bur- uh, he's not from Valakai. Oh, I just find it interesting that we're trying to find his sister when there's no other Dusk Elf women. I don't know. Maybe it's a lion thing. Maybe the women are the warriors, typically. Perhaps. I don't know. We can ask him before you leave. Yeah, we'll ask him when we get back. Fair. Oh, that's uh, right. We are, we are going to be searching the Burger Masters, because I have not been able to sift through anything yet, but kind of wanted to see if there was anything that are interesting. Uh, how close is that to the church? To the church? The church is more back to the west towards the entrance, and Pietro's is more towards the town square. Okay. Uh, so about- I need to go to the church. Uh, there's a there's an offering plate I need to make some amends and to. Dirt goes to, should I come with you? I I mean Paladin thing? Prob- probably. Okay. We're going to we'll we'll catch up. We'll give like what? An hour and then we'll meet back here? Back here in an hour. Sounds good. All yep. Right. Okay. Paladin bros. Cool. Uh and you guys divulge and the three of you go off to the burger masters and you see the ruins of this really nice mansion. And it's just stumbled to the ground. Okay, I'm going to. I want to go sift through the debris, see if there's any like jewelry or something. <laughs> something. Let's nice. do it. So, uh, anything you guys are particularly talking about as you're sifting through this poor man and wife's de- debris? I'm just like, kicking through it, like it's snow. Yeah. Like, this was a great battle, was it not? Yeah. Yeah, it was a good one. Oh, we could have done so much damage together. We, we did a lot of damage together. Not at that point. I did damage to you, my previous master, the Red One. Yeah. He calls you I didn't like him. No. You are stronger. Yeah, probably. Hey, and, I mean, you're talking about this out loud, so are, are you... I'm assuming you're going to be within earshot. So <laughs> while you and Irina are kind of, like, sifting, Shart's just kind of talking to himself at, like how we're talking <laughs> at normal people range. And Irina kind of looks at you as, he okay? I don't... I don't know. He started... He's been weird. I feel like everyone has been slightly off since... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's... I don't know. It's different. He, uh... Have, have I already told her about the, uh... The, the house... I keep forgetting the name. The German name. Von Argenvostel. 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 Sure. You can divulge some stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what I, I tell her about tell that. Him? Okay. But the I whole... just... Yeah, most of it. Okay. Um, but while we were inside, he attacked us. That is not like him. That's like, what, the succubus? Was there maybe a succubus? No. There were there were revenants, but... Like, no. like Grey, like the one who talked too much. Yeah, he was there. He's chained up. That's a part of why we have to go get this skull, but okay. I don't know. Something's off about Shart. Now he's mumbling to himself. I don't... I don't. Just stay away from him. In battle, at least. I, I will certainly do my best. Uh, absolutely, go ahead and roll an investigation check while you're doing this. At advantage, because she's helping you. Uh, 13. 13. Okay. As you're sifting through, 
you see in the very edges of the the mansion, you see very like fine lace, like white lace under all this ash. Okay, I'll pick it up. So you start pulling and it, it's attached to something larger and you keep pulling and it looks to be this very large, uh, not large, but it seems to be this full ornate wedding dress. Oh. Oh, look, look, look what I found. I don't think it's going to fit you. No, probably not. No, probably not. But I'll take it anyway. Yeah? Yeah. Just put it in the bag of Just holding. stuff it. <clears throat> so put wedding dress in there. I'm just going to write it down for now. Uh, and during this time, you guys find about collectively as a unit, it looks like it's been pretty looted, but you find about like 10, 20 pieces of gold collectively. So amongst the three of you. If you want to split that am- up amongst yourselves, or if you're the banker at this point, I don't know. I'll give it to him when we okay. get back up. Uh, and then, Rufio, anything you're particularly doing with... Uh, I want to see what... I, I want to see in what condition the church is first. The church is still standing. It's not burnt down, but there is... It looks like there is still like the remnants of blood that just have stained the outside, so it's that brown kind of ichor looking mm-hmm. when, when blood oxidizes and dries. Yeah. And you see like some townsfolk outside just kind of scrubbing like monotonously trying to clean the church. Uh, I'll talk to a townsperson. Do you, do you guys have any idea of when a new father will be here? No, we have no idea. Uh, we tried to get the uh, the abbot. We called the abbot from Kresik, but he's not going to leave Kresik. Uh, town to the west. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, we don't really have anyone here, and we just pray that the Morning Lord watches over us. Have a feeling he's watching even right now. Why is he forsaken us, then? Yeah, it's not him. The sun will shine soon, don't worry. <laughs> We've heard that all so much before. Not for me, you haven't. Uh, and I'll go inside and look for the Raven Queen's offering plate. Okay. And you see the uh, the wings closed in and you see the, the bowl. I'll throw uh, my piece of gold okay. in and uh, I'll look at dirt and, you know, be like, I'm... I'm going to pray I don't know if you I do. I'm, I'll, I'll do that too yeah yeah so I'll cool. I'll go down and start praying to whore okay and let him know what's going on and mm-hmm. what the plan is and all that I haven't heard from him in a while trying to keep my oaths and whatnot yeah. go ahead and roll <clears throat> a religion check religion check this goes so well I'm rolling so good today two Nothing really happens. You just you you reach out to Hor and you do your duty and you make sure that he he hears you. You reach out to the Raven Queen. You talk to her. You you get air out your grievances to both of them about what's going on with him, what's going on with him, and just everything that's happened the past month. Yeah. And you feel more at home because you see an offering of the Raven Queen, and it's a little more comforting than say when you're at Argonvoss Hold, where it was just this giant dead mansion to the Lathander, yeah. and you know fucking gray on top of an altar yeah so it's a little less morbid in here despite the you know, blood yeah uh i'm also gonna check before we leave i'm gonna check yeska's room and see what's going on in there see if he maybe there's any sign of him or if he took anything or uh go inside and roll investigation for me god please roll better two you're on a you don't consistent. really you don't really see anything you see that like the, the windowsill has been closed you see that the bed's been made Everything has been everything has slowly been put into a box, like all of his toys and whatnot. Uh, and it just looks like this child room has been converted back into like if they had a, a traveling priest or any kind of like abbey that would come or abbot that would come by, that's where they would stay. Okay. Uh, is there anything? <clears throat> I I want to go and look and see if there's anything of note uh, in in. Father Lucien's room. See if there's anything in there that could be useful to us or anything mm-hmm. at all. Honestly. Okay. Go through uh, investigation. <sighs> Jesus Christ. One. 
You you look through and it just everything has just been destroyed from the fire and it just it's bare bones at this point. All right. I'm going to go fuck myself now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> In the church? <laughs> <laughs> so an hour from now, you all back at the town square. Uh, and Irina looks at you. Did you get what you needed out of this? Uh, yeah. I I feel good. Uh, ready for what's to come. What is exactly to come? What do we know about this? this weather we're going to? Well, we are going to go to the Bone Grinder. Yeah. We're Ye- going to the Bone Grinder. Y- yeah. W- we're going to the Bone Grinder. Okay. And where am I going? Somewhere that's not the Bone Grinder. And Did you guys grab the bones, by the way? When when you left with her. The bones of St. Andrew that we left with them so that she'd be safe. Yeah, I made sure to grab them. She looks at you. So... I have to stay here again, or uh, not necessarily. We could leave you with Isaac, Ismark. <laughs> Isaac's dead. That's very different. Uh, I. D- so is it on the way to? It's a. It's Barovia adjacent. Okay. Do we know what we're looking for? We know what we're looking what for. What is it? Stop doing this. It's a windmill. And she kind of looks at a windmill. That's. She looks up, and you kind of see in the very far distance to the east, you see a very stagnant windmill. That the windmill? Uh, yeah. It looks like it's about an hour away. Mm. Look, I think we're going to need all the help we can. And as you look at it, you don't remember seeing it there before, but now it's there. Was that the way? That was there, right? I don't. I don't remember I don't that, rem- but I don't remember, remember it much so. being there. Who, who saw it when they looked out the window? You did. Was it me? Does it look the same? Okay. When we were up in that tower, this is the windmill I saw. But I. But how is it, it looks here? Like it's moved. We've we've traveled for two weeks, Absidy. There's no way that's the same windmill. I don't know. It looks the same. It's not moving. I thought it was shards. But I do have a windmill. I gave him the. He does have a windmill. He does, and I have a house. I'm a By the way, owner. Irina, I have a house, so oh, I can provide. Where is the house? It's cursed. Uh, Shit, not anymore. <laughs> we killed everything in it. Yeah. I mean, we killed the kids, except for the, <laughs> except for the snakes. Yeah, well, those those could be our pets. Where where was the house? Um, this is before we entered Barovia. Yeah, so. I don't know if we can get to it now. Okay. I'm a landowning male. I can vote. Okay, no, 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 no. (laughs) Where is the town? Is it in the village? Is it in the forest? Where is this house? (laughs) Um, I don't remember. (laughs) I don't. I'm very visual, so without the map, I can't. And Dirt's gonna meta knowledge. It was in the village of Barovia. Yeah, that's where where we found her. Where we. And he's pointing at Arena. She was the burgomaster's daughter of the village of Barovia, and the house was in Barovia. Oh, that's right. And Dirt's like describing this house, and she goes, The haunted house that kills people. That's the house that you own? Yes, but it didn't kill us, and I got it as a reward. What? No, what? It's, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It has killed so many people. But it didn't kill us, so it lost its streak, and now it's a good house. It's it's like a pet. You know how sometimes a dog She's takes starting on to the walk and of and you're following her. It's kinda like a dog. And <laughs> Rufia or Dirt's house. kinda like remember it got destroyed and then it came back up? I think it's still haunted. Yeah, no, I, I remember it got destroyed on my body. Yeah, that was fucked up. Yeah, thanks. I remember. Look how far we've come. Yeah, now only werewolves kill me. <laughs> well, don't fucking fight werewolves by yourself. So, as you go out, or, and then all five of you are going out, or Irina, you're making Irina stay, like, what are you doing? No, she's coming with us. What's yeah. the Watcher house look like? It's just fucking annihilated at this point. Looks like when you left, it just... 
Can we it was still it was still up. So you know what? It looks like it's boarded up. That makes more sense. It's more it's boarded up. Do you wanna stay there? What in the creepy house that you know you killed someone in with children? Yup, that place. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and do you have also a suggestion for me to say somewhere super stupid? Nah, I think she'd just come with us. Fuck it. And she's gonna point at dirt. You? Um, I feel like we have a trend here. Lion's Den? <laughs> she goes, See, everyone made stupid suggestion except this one. So we go to uh, Windmill now. Yes. Wonderful. I made great suggestions. <laughs> okay. So it takes about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, travel out, and you just you see this windmill getting closer and closer. So the old Svalich Road transitions here from being a winding path through the mountains and Valakai to a lazy, fog-filled valley. In the heart of the valley, you see a walled uh, town. That's Valakai. Uh, shores of a great mountain lake, its waters dark and still, and a branch in the road leads west to a promontory. Atop which is perched a dilapidated stone windmill and its warped wooden vi- uh, vein stripped bare. So, you see this massive windmill and you see it very slowly just just turning. Everyone make perception checks. Great, can't wait to roll a one. 18. 19. Oh, Natural sorry. 20. <laughs> <laughs> you all look at the windmill and you notice there is no wind blowing. Yet. But it's turning? Yes. Um, what is this place called again? The Bone Grinder. Yeah, that seems right. And you brought your girlfriend here. Yeah, she's a strong, independent woman. I know Irina what I like. Irina is in her armor at this point. Hmm? Irina is in her armor. Good. That makes sense. I don't take risk anymore <clears throat> with all of you. No offense. Ah, none taken. Yes. All so, right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> As you get closer, uh, there is an onion domed edifice that leans forward and to one side as though trying to turn away from the stormy gray sky. You see gray black walls and dirt covered windows on the upper floors. A decrepit wooden platform encircles the windmill above a flimsy doorway leading to the building's interior. Perched on a wooden beam above the door is a raven. It hops about and squawks at you, seemingly agitated. Uh, it's not a big raven, it's a little raven. Okay, okay. I was going to ask about not the a, eyes. Not a were raven. Is this? Ah. Wait, do you have the card for that for that helmet? Ah. Uh, yeah. I'll put the helmet on. Well, I want. It might just be reading. I don't. I... Wearing this helm, you can use an action to cast the comprehend language spell at will. Look up the comprehend language spell. Who has the book? I do. Uh, meta. Talk to each other or whatever. It's D and D. Fighting with the legends of Yor. Yor. Woo! Rawr. Was he saying whore? I like is this I remember Stephen Lynch. Uh, I think it's Legends of Lore. Oh Lore. I thought Yor was like a, a Maybe person. it is Yor. Rawr. The days of Yor. Rawr. Rawr. Uh hey there, bird. Rawr. Rawr. Short, you hear it. Hit it with the axe. Hit uh, let me feed from it. For the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. You can also understand any written language that you see, but you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. It takes about one minute to read one page of text. So it's... So I can... Uh, uh, is Raven a language? I don't know. Is Squawk a language? And... Dirt kind of looks at you. He's like, "You don't don't you like talk to animals and shit?" I mean, not like exclusively. Like I understand wolves and wolf mentality. I don't think I really. I mean, I could try. You can check your features <laughs> and your abilities. Because I know you have something. Hold on. <laughs> Scoopity scoop, scoopity doop. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take the scythe out and just kind of be ready. And I'm gonna, I'll take the scythe out, have it in one hand, and have an eldritch blast in the other, just okay. ready to murder okay. this bird. And Irina's looking at you. What is that? And what's that new thing? It 
It's new stuff. Hold on. I, we might need to kill this bird. No, wait, no, it's no, a no. bird. What? It's a fucking bird. What new stuff? It's, it's what is that? It's a it's a scythe. Of what? Who gave you a scythe? I you psycho. Got it from somebody. I'm Why is at... he being vague? Yeah, That's his thing now. Got it from a really nice lady. When did you meet a lady? Did She's you nice meet a lady? Did you meet, meet the lady? lady? Do you know who gave him the scythe? Do you have a lady? I do. Oh my god. Her name's Esmeralda. Oh. <laughs> She rolled her eyes. <laughs> she only has one meant? leg. Uh, features and traits. Okay, here we go. Uh, that or it's under spells. You have something you can cast at will without using a spell slot because you're not magic, but you can do things. It's called hug your friend. <laughs> hug your friend. Hug your closest friend and heal five health. I've literally never used that before. <laughs> yeah. I will cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you see Shart, and it, uh, he kind of just like meditates, and you hear in the back of your head, What are you doing? I'm getting information. What? And he concentrates, and for a few moments, Shart is squawking at the raven. What would you like to ask the Raven? What the fuck is going on? What's going on I'm here? I'm so confused. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. It's a thing that I could do now. <laughs> could always do it. You could do it like at level four. <laughs> uh, what? What? You need to leave. All of you need to leave. Why? Because they're here. Who's they, here? They prey on them. Who's that? The old women. What about the old women? They bring children here and the children don't leave. You need to run. Very powerful. No. Ah. Okay. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. Um, now, have you seen the skull of a dragon in there? Dragon. Dragon. I've never seen a... Rah, 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 rah. I have it 10 minutes of this. kind of gets garbled. Yeah, but I got... It lasts for 10 minutes. I know. That wasn't 10 minutes. I know. <laughs> okay, guys. So, basically, what the raven said... That's a raven. <laughs> he uh, hold, said, "Hold on, hold on. What you the, can speak fucking raven, man. I can talk to animals." What the raven said. Why is this said? the first time you've done it? I. <laughs> it's not something I really tried much. Okay. The, the first time we met, you tried to talk to snakes, and then you were just like, "Nope, can't do it." Now you can talk to ravens. Okay, you know, sometimes you don't know. You're not honed in on all of your abilities right away. Man, you leave should... him in half. Shut the fuck up. up. Who are you talking to? Who is he to? talking to? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so what the raven said is he said, get out of here. The reason he said get out of here is because they are here. Kids come in here and they don't leave. And they are very, very powerful. All right, so we have to go in. Yeah, that's pretty much what I heard. Yeah, me too. I asked if uh, the dragon head was there, and then he started just squawking, which means I couldn't figure it out anymore. So we will bisect them one by one. No, I won't. Who? What? Who, who, who what? are you talking to? And there's a voice in my head. I don't know. I um, won't believe you. What are you talking about, Shard? I, Keep me safe. I don't know. No, everyone right. hears their own voice in their head when you think. <laughs> it's not my voice. Are you sure it's not your voice? Trust me, I know my own damn voice. I don't know, you don't know what you can do. <laughs> you didn't know you could talk to that bird, and then you just did it. All right, let's stop picking on him. Shark, honey, um, is it your voice, or it's someone else's voice? No, it's someone else's. Okay, can you describe the voice? Angry. Is it not his voice? No, it's like maniacal it's not angry. That angry. Maniacal. <laughs> I want you to watch you break your own fucking sword in half. You're a very angry boy. Yeah, that one right there. It's true. <laughs> Feel, I came out to have a good time. <laughs> so, uh, just short, honey, just be careful and wary of this voice. Trust me, I'm trying to. We can do great things, short. So. Uh, is there any traps the door? <laughs> Can you ask the raven? Is Does the raven know? <laughs> is there any traps, <laughs> bird? Bird! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Stuff? <laughs> Try squawking at it. Squawk? <laughs> Your accent's off. Mm. You try. <laughs> you were definitely okay. way closer <laughs> to me. I was much closer. 
So, <laughs> well, are you, what are you what are you guys doing? Uh, I was thinking about trying to do something else. What was it? Um, if I cast Speak with Animals again, I can also potentially cast Beast Sense, which, sorry guys, I didn't even know that I had these abilities because I'd never look at my spell thing. <laughs> Um, beast sense gives me the ability to touch a willing beast for the duration of the spell. You can use your action to see through the beast's eyes and hear what it hears and continue to do so until, um, you use, uh, your action or return to your normal senses. So if there's a chance, would that mean that I can send him in and know what he's doing? You can certainly try. See uh, if he'll do it. Then I cast speak with animals. Okay. Hey, Raven. As as you're trying to communicate, you start smelling that decay from earlier when you're in the when you had that dream of the mm-hmm. woods. Okay, and he just keeps squawking at you. Oh, so I can't. He mm, gotcha. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I tried something else. It didn't work. I still don't understand how he can talk to birds. I don't, I don't know. I thought it was. That's just kind of awesome, though, right? That could have been so helpful. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been helpful like so many times. All right, let's not keep picking on Shart, okay? But it's <sighs> fun. You didn't like it when we were picking on you? I mean, it doesn't really stop. What doesn't stop us picking on you? Yeah. Like, are you feeling bad? Actually, it, Shart's getting a little too much attention. I need some on me. Someone make fun of me. That makes sense. Bitch. Your hair looks dumb. All right, I feel good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your shoes are tacky and I hate you. Oh wow, Thanks, that was Vera. harsh. I'm just, I'm just trying. I was fucking. I'm just kidding. It was great. You Thank you. <laughs> Dollop. I'm so glad he Dollop. dollops now. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> as you're fucking arguing and squawking, what are we doing? Uh, you should check for traps. Yeah. I guess we'll walk up to the door. Okay. We'll walk look. up to the door. Check for traps. Check for traps. There to pop. There to pop. At twenty. Okay. <laughs> there are so many traps. <laughs> as you go up. There are no traps. <laughs> you there got... are no traps. Is the door open? You can try the door. Would you like to attempt to open the door? I will attempt to open the door. Eee. But just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> it, it is unlocked. Uh, It's unlocked, guys. It's kind of unsettling. Uh, Can we see how far back, the, the like, after opening the door, how far mm-hmm. back it goes? Um... It goes out about... It's not a very long... It's about 40 by 40, so... Okay. It goes to 48. 40 uh, I'm going to cast a Divine Sense. Okay. Uh, what does it do again? Celestial Fiend? Uh, Celestial Fiend and Undead. You dumb... You're getting a blip of Undead. Okay. Is it just completely open like this, or is... Yeah. What are... It's kind of like that. Is it's it? That. It's one. It's one story. There's not like a. It's four stories. Four stories. Heard that. But it's just this one circle. That's why I didn't make more. Mm-hmm. Just one. Guys, just you one. remember? Remember when I uh, I told you about uh, gray and and that weird sense I was getting? Yeah. Yeah. There's another one of those happening right now. So but just be careful. Is gray here? So the are the revenants it's in an, here? No, it's an undead. It's something undead is in there. <sighs> okay. I'm always down for a fight. Do you want to lead the way there? Big guy. Why not? <laughs> okay. Good. This will show our prowess. So as you go in, the ground floor has been converted into a makeshift kitchen, but the room is filthy. Baskets and old dishware are piled everywhere. Adding to the clutter is a peddler's cart, a chicken coop, a heavy wooden trunk, and a pretty wooden cabinet with flowers painted on its doors. In addition to the clucking of chickens, you hear toads croaking. The sweet smell of pastries blends horridly with a stench that burns your nostrils. The awful order comes out of an open, uptight barrel in the center of the room. Warmth issues from a brick oven against one wall, and a crumbling staircase ascends the wall across from it. Shrieks and cackles from somewhere higher up cause the old mill to shudder. The ceiling here is about eight feet high. So there's a barrel in the center of the room? Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to check the trunk? Yeah. So as you guys are looking, I need all of you to make perception checks. Seven. 
Eight. Seven. <laughs> you guys are fine. <laughs> oh, great. Does um does the peddler's cart look familiar? It looks eerily familiar. Okay. Dope. That's that's a crazy lady. I yeah. Think. Uh, so as you go up to the barrel absidy, it is holding a glistening greenish black liquid ichor. And it just looks like it's kind of swirling. Do I have any idea what it is? You can make an arcana check. Ooh. Straight roll. Six. It looks like tar. Um, Rufio. Yeah. Do you know what this is? Mm. Arcana check. Go ahead and roll an arcana check. Ten. Yeah, it looks like tar. Looks like tar. Arcana check. <laughs> Go for it. I'm gonna talk to the Icar. Sixteen. <laughs> you, it it looks um obviously it does not look naturally occurring. You don't know what it is, but it looks foul. That's as much as I can give you. And it looks mystical. It looks like tar. It looks yeah. gross. Smells gross. Probably gross. Where's Casimir when we need him? Brooding somewhere, pussy. Sounds familiar. <laughs> as Irina looks around the... No. You. You. Trust me, recently there's been some brooding on the other side of Have things. Have you been brooding, honey? No. I, little baby. No. That's no. okay. You're fine. He thank broods. you. you yes, okay? I'm. Yes, thank you. you okay? I'm, Shark, thank you, Shark. I'm fine. Shark, I would love a hug. You. Thank you. Gives you a hug. He mm. broods a little bit. That brood things a little sexy. Yeah, I brood all the time. Can we check the fucking trunk, please? <laughs> yeah, let me do it broodingly though. <laughs> Just check for fucking traps, broody brood. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, if you do, you want to check the trunk for traps? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, what what is it plus? It's it's the roll plus. Your proficiency. That's to unlock things, but if you're checking for traps, I think it's just insta uh, investigation. Oh, that's right. Okay, so 11. Don't see anything. Okay. I don't see anything, guys. As open you it. open, about several toads jump out of the trunk, and they croak. And some of them are trying to get out of the trunk, and they're just all over. Gross. I close the trunk. Bunch of frogs. Wait, talk to him. <laughs> Cast speak to animals. <laughs> what are you doing here? <sighs> ah, damn it. <sighs> and as you keep doing it, more of that underlying, like, there's a really rank smell. Like, it's, it's churning all of your stomachs. But you, under that, you smell that decay mm -hmm. from the forest. <clears throat> what about that pantry thing? The one with flowers on it? Do you want to, who wants to check the pantry? Because I don't want something jumping out at me. I'll check the pantry. Okay. Giant pussy. You're fucking broody and pissy. He's 12, dude. Don't call him a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's like calling him giant. That's hurtful. I'm giant on the inside. Yeah, okay. She is giant in places that matters. Ha. Fuck you guys. His heart. It's abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, concerned. As you go in, uh, it is a cabinet that it looks like it contains wooden bowls full of just different herbs and baking ingredients, uh, including like flour, sugar, several different kind of gourds. Um, hanging on the inside of the cabinet doors are dozens of different locks of hair. And amid our various concoctions are three small labeled containers that hold elixirs. Uh, first elixir is labeled youth, uh, and it looks kind of gold. The second one is labeled laughter, and it's kind of like a, a reddish, looks like a red tea kind of color. And then the third one uh, is called mother's milk, and it is this sickly green pale color. The same as the stuff in the center? No. Oh, okay. Uh... Take them and okay. put them in my bag. Okay. Unsure of what they do. Okay, great. Um, anything else of note? Uh, there's some herbs in there. I know you were using it to cook stuff. I don't know if you want anything. What kind of herbs? Various herbs. Ooh, my favorite kind. <laughs> I will take the various herbs. 
just had various fucking herbs to your, your inventory. <laughs> Emphasis on it's, the fucking... It's pickling herbs. It's like mustard seed and bay leaves. Good. It's good for my intestines. Ugh. Uh, anything else we're doing down Is here? there anything else really down here? Nope. Not really. Okay. Moving right along. So you are going up to second floor. You see a... Um, Hmm. You see a boiled apple that is uh, in the middle of this uh, kind of cauldron. It's kind of rolling. Uh, there is, are dirt caked windows that are allowing very little light to enter this eight foot high chamber. Most of which is taken up by a large millstone connected to a wooden gear shaft that attaches to the skull of Argon Uh This rises through the ceiling and you hear the sounds of cackling coming from upstairs. And it looks like within the skull there seems to be a plant growing out of it. And that seems to be the the biggest smell of that that disgusting smell seems the most to be coming from here. And you see the source of what is making the windmill goal as you see bottom grinding with the skull are four very tiny children moving said uh, mill. Uh, yeah. Wait, alive children are moving it? If you'd like to roll perception, you can check. 22? Oh, investigation, sorry. Oh. Still high, though. 17? 17 high. 16. Uh, 15. You all see these children. They are very dead behind the eyes. They are graying. You see parts of their body missing. Some children have an arm missing, and you see bone coming out. Uh, you see that dead look behind those eyes of when you've found zombies before, and these are child zombies. They're kids. This is disgusting. Whoever did this needs to pay. Zombie kid enslavement? It's the people above us. You hear that laughing? Oh, I hear it. They're laughing at the dead kids. Looks like we have someone to kill. Damn right we do. I'm gonna unchain the scythe. Okay. Uh, so you are going up another, uh, door, or? Should we get the skull while we're here? No, we've, we gotta go up and we gotta fight. Get it on the way down. What if everything comes crashing down on the way down? And we have to come back down, don't we? I mean, if, if everything's collapsing on itself, are we gonna... Is, um... So it's just in the center? You said a plant's growing out of it. Mm -hmm. And that, is it... And a, it's a wire's attached to it. A what? A wire. It's, not, it's, a, it's like the mill, so it's like it's a post that goes up, uh -huh. and you see the, the bone, like the jawbone and the top bone are just... <laughs> as these kids are moving the jawbone oh, around. Oh, that's so what's it's, grinding. Yeah. How big is it? It's massive. It's a dragon skull. So, so we're not going to be able to... Well, I guess we have the bag of holding, right? It's not going to fit. put it in the bag of holding. Fuck you, I While can't. you guys are talking, uh, you see two little hands come out of one of the eye sockets as another small zombie child comes out. And on the other eye socket, you see another small zombie child come out. Oh, please I don't. start keeping track. Please, oh, no. Please don't. <laughs> well, I guess we're not getting two, the skull. Three, four, yeah. Five, six. That is six. Zombie hmm. children at the moment. And they are slowly shuffling over to you guys. I don't want to kill zombie kids. I don't... I mean, they're already dead. <laughs> I mean... It's just... This won't be fulfilling, but it could be fun. I don't have the heart to do it, Absidy. What if it was dirt? What if they go after dirt? Look, uh, we won't make the first strike, but if they if they get too close, just just ready your weapons. Stand ready, holding an action. Okay, as you hold an action, you see another two small children come out of the skull. We're gonna get overwhelmed soon, <sighs> dude. Let's let's just fucking go. Dirt, they're about your size. Can you talk they're to tinier. them? Oh, they're tinier. They're about. They look like they're about like five, six, four, seven. None of them are very tall. Five, six, They're four, seven. Kids. They're not going to be able to talk to us either. Oh, that's so perfect. 
Okay. And there is one last child that comes out, and this child sits on top of the skull. And I need you all to roll perceptions. Oh, no. oh I rolled <clears throat> bad. Eight. Seven. Rufio, I'll let you roll at advantage. Natural 20. On top of the skull, you see a very familiar little boy as the dead eyes of Lucian look back at you. As it sits on top of this skull. Shart, you remember that kid that gave you the gold piece? The kid that was writing us letters letting us know how things were going? Yeah. That's him, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go to the back of the room. I can't. Okay. So, as Rufio goes in the back of the room, you see these more, these little kids, and they just start pawing at you, and they start opening their mouths to kind of bite at you. What are we doing? I'm sh- pushing them away. Every time they come up, I just... Okay. You kind of just shove away. them. They're not very strong because they're, they're still they're little kids. And from the top, you just hear more and more of the, that cackling. and It's just incoherent because you're not... It's a little muffled, but... Is there a way that we could get upstairs and block the stairs so they can't follow us? Man, they can barely hold on to me. <laughs> I'm not exactly a... I don't think they can climb. Let's just get past them, push them out of the way, and go upstairs. Rufio. Yeah. We'll avenge him. Oh, we will. I like the kid, too. I'll, uh, I'll push past, and I, I'll take the scythe out, unchain it, and okay. I'll start going upstairs. Okay. Uh, are we trying to stealth up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't go first up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll the way. I'll scout and then okay. I'll I'll follow. So Absidy, as you scout up, dancing around a thick wooden gear shaft in the center of this cramped circular room are two very attractive women, wearing silk shawls and gowns of stitched flesh. Long needles stick out from their tangled mops of black hair and the women cackle with glee. In a rotting wooden closet are three crates stacked one on top of each other with small doors set into them. Next to the closet is a heap of discarded clothing. A ladder climbs to a wooden trap door in the nine foot high ceiling above and a moldy bed with tattered canopy stands nearby. Okay, I relay that to the group. Okay. Um. Boys, I'm not quiet. We can go in. Guns are blazing. Blaze of glory. Okay. As you go up, Absy, you hear them talking to each other, and they're like, oh, don't they look sweet, sister? Oh, they'll get so fat, and then we'll put them in our little pies. And you hear these two little voices like, please, I just want to go home. I'm scared. I just want to go home. Uh, and as you go up, you just see these sisters poking at two of the the three crates and you hear like these little like square scared little cries as you all come up do we recognize any of the voices of the kids you don't they sound like little kid voices okay it's not yeska no well, i mean no yeska got to check oh that's fair he's he's the dude <laughs> what are we doing uh so we <clears throat> we were all up there when we heard the voices i would say as you're going up like depending on the marching order of the staircase, but you could all hear it as you were up the stairs. So what order on the stairs are you going? So I'm guessing it's Absidy, Chart. I'm going to say Dirt. That's fair. Irina reveals at the end. Yay. Okay. That fair? Yeah. All right. What are you two doing? Because you're the closest. Um, as soon as I hear that there are kids getting mm-hmm. prodded, I, I start to ready my bow. Okay. We will make them bleed and suffer. Damn right we will. Shart, take us now. Take a surprise shot. Okay. As soon as I as soon as I let go, you run. Yep. Um and then they can the rest of the party can hear that, right? Sure. Well okay. we're just <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys are kind of just mumbling to each other, so it would be pretty hard for, like, say, Rufio all the way at the end to hear. Okay. Actually, do I still have those vials of poison? You should. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to apply poison to one arrow. Ooh, okay. Or how many arrows? Is it one arrow per vial? Basically. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll apply poison to one of the arrows. Okay. So just for the sake of argument, one is blonde, one is redheaded. Uh, what color hair does Irina have? Brown. Black. Black, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Roll d d4. Odd and even. Yep. Odd is blonde. Odd is blonde. Okay. Okay, so I... I shoot. Mm -hmm. Do I get advantage on that? Because it's, of the sneak attack? Yeah. Right, because uh, they... I think it's only when you have someone within five feet of... I know, sneak attack is if they're unaware. Yeah, I don't know if that's advantage, though. Don't, But don't you get advantage if it's the beginning of a round and they're unaware that... A surprise attack. attack? Yeah, surprise yeah, that's attack. That's a surprise attack. Yeah, you get okay. a surprise attack. So it's not at advantage, but they don't... They're not gonna... Obviously, they can't fight you again. So basically, it's like you attack before initiative ha happens. So you're able to do damage before any kind of initiative happens because you can still have the opportunity to miss. Okay. So there's no advantage to that unless they're flanked. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, 25. No. Yeah, 25 <laughs> hits. I was going to say, oh, shit. <laughs> Which one did you hit, red or blonde? A uh, blonde. Okay, got it. Do all your damage, bro. Do it all. And then what does, how does poison work? Poison is going to be a uh, disadvantage on ability checks for them and okay. saving things. Uh, I thought it was attacks. <clears throat> oh, attacks and saving things. Sorry. 6, 12, 15, 19. 19. So you fucking, you dip the arrow in, breathe out, boom, and it just hits in the back of this witch's shoulder, and she lets out a, ah! and I'm sprinting in to go towards red. All right. Roll initiative, bitch. Poof. Okay, so that sounds good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this is going to be my witch <laughs> <laughs> What do you get? Five. My initiative's an eight, but... Uh, okay, you got a five? Yeah. Despite I'm, it being... You said your initiative's eight? My plus initiative three. is... Yeah, I have a plus three initiative. Okay, I was so. going to say, Jesus Christ, Pat. And I don't get advantage on initiative until next level. <laughs> so, let's see here. Anyone got a 20 or higher? Nope. 15 or higher? Nope. <laughs> okay, that is... Hers? Great. Okay. I, there's an Irina. Uh, 15... I said 15 to 20, so 10 to 15? 13. Eight. Six. Okay. So it is... Is there more battly music? Yeah, uh, I was tabletop just thinking audio. That you got eight and six? Eight and six, yeah. Okay. Then it's R... A... Tell tabletop audio to play battle music. Okay. Let me... Very heroic. <laughs> Flagged. <laughs> that was really just off the top of my head. How much AdSense we getting on this shit? I haven't gotten my residuals. <laughs> I haven't gotten mine. Yes, Mike, we make no money. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're the last one to get AdSense. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay, so... It is going to be Blonde's turn first. Great. She rolled a 19. <laughs> oh, that bitch. She turns around and she just locks eyes with you. And she goes, you're not supposed to be here. Are you a child? No. No matter. Sideburns, mustache, or whatever. And she, you see her take one of the needles out of her hair and she whispers into it. I need you to make a Gross. wisdom saving throw. Oh, she's trying to hold person. Oh. Uh. So I don't like this battle music. 18. Okay. And you start feeling tensed up. And you shake that off. As she did attempt to hold person you, I'm going to put everyone down. Okay. Uh, while I do that. You're going to set us up on the map, too. I will. It is actually Shart's turn. 
Really? Uh, yeah, I need to know where we're at. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So, I have... Duel of the Fates. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He's playing Duel of the Fates. Flag. <laughs> I don't think it picks up. But I do like this battle music. <laughs> this, this is more accurate. Yo, Alexa, can you play the 300 soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> But super sad, play Despacito. <laughs> so, hags are here. I'll just do that for the sake of clarity. Okay. So, if anyone has this on in the background, Justin is currently setting up the battle map for us, which you can kind of see at the top of the screen. You can kind of see it. We'll, we're working on battle map stuff. Yeah, I moved over my computer. But for some reason, it doesn't like three cameras still, so I'm going to have to do some testing with it. We're going to figure it out. Don't worry. I blame Trump, honestly. So I'll say Trump's black America. Before they started, and we'll say black is blonde, blue is red. And that is blonde is attacking uh, at disadvantage and has saving throws at disadvantage. Oh, because she's poisoned? Because she's poisoned. Okay. I mean, it's a spell. I mean, I'm just saying, like, as For clarity. Note. Sure. Yeah. You got it. Uh, Shark, you're up. Okay. Rage. Uh, no, I already reached. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Good. Make them pay. Uh, first attack is a 17. Uh, 17 just hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck. Uh, first hit is a nine. A nine? Nine in damage. Nine in damage. Go ahead and do a con save. Okay, before the second attack? Mm -hmm. Or wisdom uh, save, sorry. Uh, uh, four. Oof. And you just see... <laughs> you see the veins start to come around. Good. Good. Hit again. That is a 19. 19 hits. And you start... You see Shark getting yoked up like he did... Previously, you see that fucking fraw thing coming out. Uh, 12 points of damage. 12. Okay. So that was uh, 12. Okay. And you just, you lay into her and you start seeing the blood start to go into the, and you can see this at this point. The blood starts going into the blade of the axe as it looks like, like the rubies start glowing a little bit. And Shard is having the fucking time of his life, like unhinged. Uh, let's see here. So that was... Her, and then it is Red's turn. Let's see here. She is going to. She's gonna look over at you, Shark, and she's gonna. <sighs> Let's see what really makes you tick. I need you to roll another wisdom save. So I, have to, I need I to hit something. <laughs> and you just, uh, uh, wisdom save, you said. Wisdom save. Is this loop? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, 13? 13. Okay. So as you lay in and you make eye contact with this red-headed girl, her hair pinned up, she starts... And your eyes start milking over. And you see before you the axe that you buried into the hag and you brought back up. It looks like it shifted back and the axe is in Paul and it's in the clavicle and it's about halfway sticking in and your Paul is looking black up at you and he goes why are you why are you doing Shard, this isn't you why are you why are you doing this I was hitting a witch Shard, the snow this hurts I'm in pain Paul, Paul Shard, I'm sorry you are frightened for a minute. <sighs> what does that do? So frightened means you have you are gonna try to get away from her, and uh, basically from her as far as you can for the next minute. Okay, so my next turn is I don't have a choice you but start, to disengage start and run away. Mm -hmm. Cool. There goes rage. Each each round is six seconds. Is yeah. that? Yeah. Or is it each turn? On a, each round oh, is hold on. six seconds. And I forgot each one turn. Thing. No, round. Because um, it's all happening at the same time. Okay. As the distress of looking at Paul 
Mm. You take emotional damage. <laughs> you feel me, man. <laughs> Are there any good therapists in Barovia? His name's Strahd. <laughs> You take 34 points of psychic damage. Holy shit! I'm not even going to push the buttons on that one. I'm just going to type it in. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. As the just the distraught of sinking this axe into Paul. Meanwhile, Absy, you're looking. This hag is perfectly fine in front. Like, she's gotten grazed. And Shart has his axe like this, and he's tensed up. And you still see the veins, and... Shart, you hear muffled in the back of your head, What are you to know? What are you doing? And you're just frozen. Let's see. We are going to move on to Dirt. Dirt's going to go, What the What the fuck? Okay, all right. Um, right. I've got this. And he is going to attempt to Witch Bolt. That's fitting. The red one. <sighs> and you see him and he's like, zzz, 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 And the archaic electricity energy it just kind of fades out fuck shit shit i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry uh and he is gonna attempt to move a little bit closer so he's gonna be right here with you absidy uh rufio or no it is actually yeah it's rufio's turn sorry okay so i i would assume that we were all coming through the same door you're all coming up yeah so like Mm -hmm. i'm right here yep i'll go one two three Four, five, six. And as you get in there, you see Shart just like. Uh, I'll cast Hex on Redhead. Uh, okay. Blue, on I redhead? guess, is that. So what uh, is Hex a cantrip or? It's a it's a spell. Okay. So Red looks at you. And as you start saying the incantation for Hex, you see her move her hands. And the energy from Hex just fizzles out as she counterspells it. Uh, she can do that to a curse. Bitch. Spell, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'll be like, well, that sucks. Uh, and I'll throw two Eldritch Blast at her. Go for it. Yeah. That is a 14. 14. You guys have all been wailing on... No. She hasn't gonna hit yet. So 14 does not hit. No. And that is a 15. 15 does not hit. So you just go... And it seems like for a moment she just shifts out of the plane and shifts back in. What the fuck are we dealing with here? I have no idea. Absidy. <sighs> uh, talking is an action or bonus action? Talking to like each other I always count as like a bonus action. Like you could just do it without doing it. But yeah, if you wanted to talk to one of them, I would say it would cost an action. Okay, but to each other it's... Yeah. Okay. You could say like one thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move up. Mm-hmm. It, are, it, does that count as engaged? What? Um, Blondie? Blondie's not engaged with Shard anymore. Not engaged. Okay. No, because he's frightened. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to move up. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, man. I'm just going to shoot at, at Blondie. Do it. Make okay. sure you hit. Uh, 18. Uh, 18 hits. Yes. But it's not sneak, right? No. Fuck. Uh, seven. Seven points of damage? Points. Yeah. Okay. And you see another slip, and she goes, ah. Oh, you poor dear. I'm going to make you pay for that. And Irina is just going to sit at the door, and she's going to hold her action with her sword out. Uh, we are back at the top of the round, and it is Blondie's turn. Okay, so let's see what Blondie is going to do. Yeah, that works. Um, Question, real yeah, quick. Was ahead. it uh, Red or Blondie that cast the uh, Frightening on red. me? Red. It was Red. Okay. Where yeah. are all the uh, our rings, the little plastic rings? I have them all here. Do you have any that are red and yellow? No. No? Okay. That's why I'm like, black is for blonde and blue is for red. Uh, wait. There's an orange one over there. If that makes you feel better. Yeah, so blue was the red one? Yep, so you're going to make her orange. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to see how many it is. Okay. 
And so you see, uh, it is blonde. So you see her, and you see this electricity crackle from her hands, and she is going to shoot it at Rufio and Absidy. I need you both to make deck saving throws. And Mike, if I could get D6s, please. Oh, fuck. How many? Uh, how many do you have? Six. Uh, give me five. <clears throat> what do you guys have? 24. 24? 14. You make the save, you don't, unfortunately. Great. So half damage, and then you're going to uncanny dodge it right now. So you're going to half the half? Mm-hmm. So quarter. Um, no half the half. <laughs> yeah, that one. I'm scared, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean on the next turn you have to run away? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. Uh, I have it brought up here. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within the line of sight. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So you can stick to Blondie. I can stick to Blondie. Uh, okay. She deals out 30 points of lightning damage. Cool. Ugh. So you take eight. Yeah. So then would would that mean that they, she would have still been engaged? Like, mm. Because he's he doesn't run away. He's just... I, I would say that she like moved on from him because he's not moving. Okay. Yeah, he froze in place. But that's she doesn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So it is actually Shark's turn, and because you can't really do anything, this is technically the end of your turn. But make a Wisdom saving throw. See if you can shake it. Four. Four. Mm -mm. You're like. Ugh. I mean, you can attack Blondie, but... That's what I was going to try and do. Go for it. At disadvantage? Yep. Doesn't matter. Natural one. Okay. As you go down... Well, I got a second attack. Well, as you go down, the axe kind of kink sinks into the ground as you're kind of milling it up. You're trying to pull it out. And I would say you can try to do a second attack, but you would... I, I would count your second attack as you basically just pulling the axe out. Okay, so... It's a Double disadvantage. Or is it double disadvantage? <laughs> uh, I would say if you want to pull the axe out, it would be... An action. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll pull the axe out. Okay. Strength. Ooh, I did it. 19. I mean, you're able to... Yeah, you're able <laughs> <laughs> uh, It is now Red's turn. Let's see here. Ooh, I forgot what that one does. Um, I'm having fun. I've been excited for these girls. Girls, girls, girls. Um, okay. She is going to lock eyes with the one that keeps fucking shooting her sister. Absidy, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. 17. So you see your eyes kind of... And as you look and your eyes kind of start to milk over a little bit, you see in front of you Irina in the arms of Strahd as she's, her arms are around his neck and she looks happy and she looks content and she looks at you and you feel so fucking small as you are also now frightened. Damn, with a 17. <sighs> What's the fucking DC on that shit? Hi. Yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you lock up as well and you're like, if you're muttering under your breath, it's whatever you're saying. So what? with Abs I, like if you're if like you're seeing this image like with Shart, he's kind of like muttering like he was talking to Paul. So in your head, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just and you see Absy just lock up. What the fuck is going on? Do, am I in that like in my own world or do I hear him? You're in your own little world, but you, I think you can hear him. I would say you hear him, but you you are just fixated on this image in your head. Okay. Yeah, I'm just mumbling, Irina and Strahd. Dirt is going to attempt to Witch Bolt. Dirt Dizzle, come on, boy. Okay. And you see tss, 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 fucking, and you see this lightning arc over to Blonde as it does 11 points of damage. And you see it, and you see like brief second of just her whole 
skeletal mass, and you see this beautiful woman, but when the skeletal, you see kind of like a hunched figure as uh, it goes back. Uh, and it is Rufio's turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I will go... Where did Irina's One, turn come in? Two, She's at the three, end. She was holding four, her action. Five, oh, that's right. Six. Okay. And I'll look at this witch, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll attack her two times with my Reaper Scythe. Okay. That's a nine. Nine does not hit. That's a natural 20. Okay. <sighs> Woo! Smite. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll also do that. I'm gonna drop a smite as oh, well. Sure. Uh, second, so that's second level or first level. Four d six. Hold on, let me let me <laughs> get gather my this thoughts. process first. <laughs> third level. So I don't have third level yet. Ninth level. Fair. Uh, okay. Let me know so if you my dice. first attack. <clears throat> well, my oh. second attack. Two d six plus one d four. That's gonna be four d six and two d four. Yes. Uh, yes. And then my smite doesn't get doubled, but I still get to drop two d8s. Yeah. Sick. One shot kill. Todd yep. Dillinger. I forgot to do your psychic damage, so I'm going to do it now. Ugh. For fear? For the uh, the attack, so that's... Okay. Uh. <laughs> 12, 14... 16, 26. Take 31 points of psychic damage. So, 32. 16? I don't know if you can dodge that. You can't dodge that. I think it. 6. Um, No, because it's mental. You can't uncanny dodge when you see the attack. It says when when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack. So I can see the attacker. You can't see the attack, though. Yeah, but you could see her conjuring something up. I don't know if you can uncanny dodge the the mental, like the psychic damage. I would say if it's like physical or like like magic, fire, something. Okay. Yeah. So 31? 31. Uh, Gross. Hold on. I lost, dude. (laughs) Count. 12. Remember when you guys tried doing this? You're like, what's that over there? And Gray's like, you don't want to go over there. You guys are level three. This was that thing. 28. 28. Six is. 34. 34 plus another 6 is 40. And then I get my other d4 bludgeoning, which is. Oh, I'm going to reroll that 2 in hopes that it's better. It's still a 2. 6 plus another 6 is 12. So 52. 52 points of damage? <laughs> Jesus fuck. Yeah. Okay. The other one already had 58 on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really wish I would have hit with that first attack. Shit happens. Okay. They strong. Uh, let's see here, and yeah. then it is Absidy's turn. You uh, you can attempt to try to hit the other one. Can I move? So I can't move closer to her. Mm-hmm. Can I move closer to the other one? You or is, try. Does mm-hmm. it count as moving closer? I think it would because they're very close to each other. Okay. You can try shooting her. So is um. So they're now engaged. Oh, we right? engaged. I would say that they're engaged. Yeah. The redhead, but not the. Well, shark missed. She's she's been focusing. The blonde's been focusing on you. It it says that there's an ally of, or an enemy of my enemy within mm-hmm. five feet. So okay, I believe Shard, but not Rufio. I'm within ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep going after the one that I'm not afraid of. Okay. And yeah. Boop. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Sweet. Five, seven, ten, eleven. Eleven plus four, so fifteen points. Okay. Fifteen. Um, um, awesome. And then... on on blonde, yeah. Okay. So and I'm do... gonna I'm gonna use my my movement just to move over here a little bit. Okay. Uh, well, is that closer? Does that? I count? would say if anything, you can move this way, not towards that way. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just back up a little bit. Okay. Um. And then use my bonus action to potion on myself. Okay. So that's two d4s. Mm-hmm. Right. Plus two. Plus two. Three. 
two, five, seven. Okay, and then I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can re-roll that. Oh, thank God. Lucky. <laughs> I got it a one. Uh, six plus wisdom, seven, eight, eight. Eight. You're still frightened of orange. Okay, it is Irina's turn, and she is going to come up to you and put her hand on your shoulder. Are you Are you okay? And you're just, mm-hmm. you don't even, you're just seeing that image in front of you. Thank you. It's closer to me. Okay. No. And then uh, it is Orange's turn, or Redhead's turn. Can I call it to dirt real quick, just like in battle and be sure. like, uh, I'm going to need some help here, Fear. It's- I'm, I'm trying as best I can. Seems like we're down two men. Yeah, the, everyone looks fucked. Okay. I'm genuinely fucked. I'm 24 more than one. You have how much? <laughs> I have 20, 24. Okay, cool. So. Hey, me too. Brothers. Brothers. Um, okay. And they get... Okay. So... You see her hands, and they're like Lady Deathstrike hands. They're just fucking long pincers. And yeah, she's yeah. going to multi-attack at you. She's going to what? She's going to hit you. Okay. With her claws. Yeah. Is she within range? Does she need to move forward for that? She'll move forward. Okay. Does a 19 hit? No. You take 17 points of slashing damage as what? one of the claws just and it just rips. But it didn't hit. She attacked twice and she critted on one. Sick. Does that mean I also need to roll a concentration save for Shield of Faith? Yes. Sick. Seven. <laughs> uh, it's a modded 20. Okay, so you keep it up. All okay. right. It is Time to lay some hands. Shark's turn. Do is the wisdom save before or after? It's after. <sighs> God. Okay. <clears throat> Keep swinging on Blondie at disadvantage. Poor Blondie. Uh, so first attack is a uh, fourteen. Doesn't hit. Nope. Yeah. So and okay. So the second one. Nope. Not getting it. Okay. Yep. So you're after just one. lashing and you're just so distracted and all you see as you try to attack Blondie is images of just Paul and then you see Vin. And it just seems like every time you slash, you're just hacking them. Um, let's see here. Ooh, it is their turn, so it's... Okay, so my wisdom save? Yep, make your wisdom save. Let's change dice, see what happens. Wow, I still roll a five. <laughs> wow. So six, so I take it I don't succeed. No. Okay, let's see here. Actually, no. Switch into this one. This makes sense for this. We're fighting witches. Black and red. I feel like that's just fitting right now. (laughs) Black and red. Uh, Okay. So you see Blonde, and she looks over at this hacking, just trying to hack at him. And she... And she pops out of there. Okay. It is... Uh, Dirt's turn, and Dirt's like, I lo- I lost her. I, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to the next one. Yeah, please. And I'm gonna move him up as far as I can. Is it thirty six? And he is going to magic missile. At well, he only has one fucking spell slot, so at one, uh, and it is. D4 plus one. Four. So that is five. Right. And you just see. Doof, doof. He goes, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just. I'm trying whatever I got. Uh, and it's your turn, Rufio. Uh, <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, is Shart like I look over at Shart? Is he still like freaking out? He's just <sighs> looking around, and it's between that vein that that veinius has gone away, and yeah. you've seen that rage just kind of leave him as he just looks utterly just scared and shocked and confused and angry, all wrapped into one. He looks pretty useless at the moment. Uh, okay. I will. I mean, I don't really have a choice. I have to. I'm gonna lay all hands on myself. Okay. Use all 25. Okay. I thought you had more than that now. No, I'm not a paladin anymore. I'm gonna paladins get lay on hands. Okay. No, I, I thought last last session you were up to 20 or 35. My bad. Okay. Uh, and for hmm. I have my bonus action, but I don't know if I can do anything. Uh, I will... Oh, no, I'm too far away. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, where I'll, it's where I'll end it. Okay. Uh, it is Absidy, your turn when you are back from the PP room? No, I just need uh, ibuprofen, but okay. I'll do it after. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I was going to say, so when you use Slay on Hands, you can't attack? It's an action. It's an uh, action. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. So I can't move closer, mm -hmm. right? Okay, but I will... You can try to attack. It's just going to be a disadvantage. A disadvantage, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you try to focus. Yeah, I think that's really the only thing I can do. So I will attack from there. That would be a 21, 9. And you're, in your resolve, you just, you let the arrow go and it just sticks on the top of the wall. That Fuck. Wasn't, that wasn't a natural one, right? What? That wasn't a natural one. That was a 2. Okay, very close. <laughs> I know. Because I would have went, <laughs> no more bowstring. Oh, I, was, I thought you were going to go, and it hit Rufio. It hit Rufio. He dead now. <laughs> Uh, um, and then Irina is going to attempt to kind of shake you out of it. Let's does he have to do his wisdom? Make your wisdom save, yeah. I'll have you do it at advantage because Irina's shaking you. 18. Mm -hmm. 14. 18 makes it. As you... Uh, and Irina's shaking you. She's like, what is wrong? What is what is wrong? I, I saw you with, with Strahd. I am here. You're here. I am here with you. Yeah. Let's get them. Less talking, more fighting. Okay. At the top of that, we're going to move on to Red. What does Red want to do? What do you want to do? Um, I like that one. I'm going to do this one. Okay. She looks at you and she goes... Mother talked about you, didn't she? Yes, you are the paladin. There is a gift downstairs for you. Oh, I got it. I got a gift for you, too. Did you get it? I did. What was it? I'll just stare at her. What was it? Okay. Uh, while she talks, I need you to... You need to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, 17. 17, okay. So, let's see. Okay. I will get to that when we get to your turn. Great. As she reaches out and she just poof, touches your nose very lightly. Hell's Tribute. Okay, go ahead. Uh, she needs to make a uh, dex save, I believe, of 15. Dex save of 15? Okay. Which isn't got dex, right? We're going to find out right now. I love hags. <laughs> they get advantage on spell save. Gross. You said 15? Yeah. Okay. So on a succeed attack? still gets halved, yeah. Okay, so what's the damage? Uh, it's 14. 14? Okay. 14 is halved? Yes. Okay. Well, no, 14 so is seven. total. So half of 14. Okay. Seven. <clears throat> As you see her light up and she goes... 
I don't think you got your gift. You're very cross. I thought you would have liked it. Mother said you would have liked it. Uh, short. Um, I can't go towards her. All I could do is try and get away a little bit. And you're kind of batting. And at this point, you see both Vin and Paul's bodies lumber towards you. And they go, What's, what is, what are you holding? What is, what is that? What is that? It's, it's my axe. No, that's, that's not your axe. What is that? It's axe that I got when I beat this berserker. You've, you've turned your back on us. I haven't. On I'm the st- pack. Still trying to find you. No, not as long as you carry that. We'll move on to the next turn. Wisdom. Yeah, make your wisdom. 18. 18. And as it leaves, the last things you hear of it is, as long as you carry that, we can't support you. And as you do that, you actually smell that decay from when you were in the forest as this image just dissipates. Okay. She's back. Great. And she is going to pop up right in front of App City. Oh, yay. (laughs) (laughs) And she goes, hello. Oh, hi. I'm going to make you go to sleep now. You sleep. And then she puts her hand out. (laughs) I need you to make a wisdom save. I like these deck saves a lot more. Lucky... Barely. Eight. Eight. Okay. And as she touches your face, you are suddenly unconscious as you are asleep. All right. Good night, guys. Okay. And, Shart, you're looking at this as this blonde witch comes up and just touches Absidy on the face as Irina shrieks and... Knocks Absidy out, but Irina has been holding her action this whole fucking time. And she's gonna attack Vag. And she missed. <laughs> then you see her in her rage, she just kind of swipes, and you see that kind of like passing, passing out. Uh, it is Dirt's turn. Dirt is going to attempt to attack blind, uh, Redhead. Guys, we're getting fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're sleeping. Pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Dirt credit on Witch Bolt. Uh, okay, and you see, and you see this electricity start to crackle again as he reaches out and he did some shit. What did he do? Uh, he did sixteen points. Nice. That's still on red. And then Rufio, you are up. She touched me on the nose. She did. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, no. You... I'm, I'm waiting for my damage. <laughs> uh, make a wisdom save. I did that already. No. Make oh, a... another one? Yeah. Okay. It's the start of your turn. I need you to make a wisdom save. Uh, that is a modded 20. Modded 20. God, you lucked out. Okay. You made the wisdom save. Sick. Um... I, I hate that a modded 20 is you so, walked out. <laughs> you do what you want to do. Um, I will back up. Mm-hmm. Take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Swipe at you. Do it. Uh, she did not make it. Sick. Uh, I'm going to cast my channel of divinity on her. Vow of enmity and attack at advantage. Okay. Oh, thank Jesus, I did that. Never mind. Um, <laughs> What'd you get? 13 for the first attack? Nope. And it's kinked. Okay, that was a 10. No. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Everyone's pretty shooken up with this one, huh? Yeah, it's are scared. Or sleeping. I ain't ever scared. Uh, okay. Uh, Absidy, you are asleep, so whatever. <laughs> um, how does how does sleep work? You have to be woken up, okay, in order to wake up, or else you're asleep for like X amount of hours. Um, as you do so, you hear the witch's voice in your head, 
And she goes, that's an interesting book you're reading. We can help with that. How? We can help you with your task. You follow him, you follow the light. You're trying to beat Strahd, no? Yeah. We are not fond of Strahd. We live in fear of him. He is all-powerful. But you, you are interesting. I've heard that a couple times. Flattery will get you nowhere. Cockiness. No, you seek power. And there is no higher power than his. Uh, Let us help you. How will you help me? We will reach out when the time is right. Okay. Okay. And Irina is going to shake you awake as you say okay. Irina wakes you up and you're on the floor. It'll take your uh, half of your movement to get back up on your next turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, And it is Redhead's turn and she goes, Oh, sister. And uh, she goes, Yes, Ophelia. I think it's time we've made our exit, don't you? And... You see the blonde one smile, and she goes, I think so. I think Mother would think this is very telling. And with that, you see the redhead, and she dissipates. Short, you're up. Shit. All right. Uh, so, Blondie's still there? Yep. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Throw me. No. Do it. No. Make a wisdom save. Nine. You throw the axe. Go ahead and roll an, uh, an attack. See if you can clip her in the back. Uh, kinked. Uh, that is a... Uh, would it still be my strength modifier if it's thrown? That's what the weapon is. Uh, I don't know if you have proficiency with throwing. So you might have to do it at disadvantage. But I'll say with your strength, yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's a 22. Uh, so, so Because well, it's you're throwing it, yeah. Disadvantage. That is a 18. 18 hits. Uh, so still d12? Yep. Uh, 5 plus 8 um, Oh, I raged again. Okay. Uh, 5 plus uh, 6 is 11 plus 2 is 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. And you see, as he throws this axe, it just sticks into the back of this hag, and you see the blood start to pour out, and it just looks like it gets sucked back into the axe. And uh, you see this mild discomfort as she looks and she locks eyes with you, Absidy. And you see her smirk as she dissipates, and the axe, kink, sticks into the back. Uh, Where the fuck are they? We still have another floor to go, don't we? We've got one more. And you, that's at this point you hear the crying of two small children in a crate. On this side of the, the room. I'll go over, I'll chain, I'll like make it one weapon again. Okay. Uh, is there a lock? Uh, there are like some crude pad locks, yeah. I'll just smash them off. Okay. Um, And as you do, these two small, no more than seven and five, come up and they just, they reach onto you and they're just weeping. Little ones, we have to get you out of here. Run home as fast as you can. Dirt, take them out. That's, uh, okay, um, got it. And he kind of takes both of them and you hear him go downstairs. Uh, And I'll look around at everyone. Short rest. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't have a choice. We will take a short rest. Okay, go ahead and take your 30-minute short rest. Uh, I'm going to roll some hit die. So we can choose as many hit as dice. we want? Yeah. Like up to a certain mm-hmm. amount? Whew. That's my health at 17. Ooh, that was a good first two to roll. 15. 8. Plus eight. Plus ten. Eighteen. Uh, 
I mean, probably not going to use it anyways. Might as well do a third one. Okay. Four. Ah. Four? I'm up to 39. 39? Out of a max of what? 49. Nice. I mean, it took three short rests, but... Mm -hmm. Three Where, hit die. Yeah. Where are you at? Rufio. I'm full. Where are you at? Sharp. Uh, 49. Okay, so you guys are good to go? Out of technically yeah. 58. Sick. Okay. All right. It's at this point you see little hands start coming out of the door as... Coming up from the bottom? You just see one of the little zombie kids come out and they start shuffling over. Shart, get those boxes. We're barricading this door. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pray. Okay. As you pray, make a religion check. Mm. Religion. Yay! Plus zero. This is definitely gonna go Where are we well. One hundred and fifty. Oh wow. Yeah. The okay. long one. Six. Six. Nothing. Okay. Do we want to call it here and we'll move on to the next time? We yeah, going? I think this is a good one to wrap up here. Okay. We've Shark. been beaten. <laughs> We've been ass handedness. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to end with Sharp barricading the door from Ooh. small children that are affecting me in a very negative way. Yep. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. And when we return, we're going to kill some bitches. I mean, Maybe. Witches. Murder. Witches. Witches. Bye.